When we talked about directing Beat It for the first time, mm -hmm. he asked me if I would have some Crips and Bloods in the, in the, in the, as actors. And I said, Michael, how can I? First of all, I'm not going to go cast them. I'm not going to walk in East L.A. in the middle of the night, yeah. you know, with a sign saying, Crips and Bloods, who wants to be in Michael's <laughs> you know, video? But Michael said, you know what? I'll get them, Bob. I'll get them. <laughs> if I get them, would you, would you film them? I said, absolutely, Michael, as long as there's enough cops there. I'll be fine. Um, so he gets them. And so it's the first day of shooting, beat it, and it's in a warehouse in downtown, as history shows. It's in a warehouse in downtown East L.A., very tough, with plenty of cops. I'm photographing Michael doing the preliminary stuff before we get to the warehouse, and one gang head, led by Vince Patterson, the white gang leader, has got some of the Crips, and the other gang led by Michael Peters, the black uh, gang leader, has got other Crips and Bloods, and dancers. So we got these two gang leaders, we have dancers, and we have real gang bangers, Crips and the Bloods. Mm -hmm. And in between takes, they start to get a little bored, as you do in a movie business. So around early evening, there's a couple of boom, 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 a couple of smacks, and the cops get nervous, and one of the Crips goes down. And they kind of like take care of him, and he was beat up by a couple of the Bloods. The cop comes to me and says, "You know, Bob, this, you know, it was a great idea, of Michael's, but this, we have, a, we have to pull the plug. I don't want, uh, we can't, start, we can't shoot anymore." I said, "I came this far." I said, "I'll tell you what, I wasn't going to do the big dance scene finale at the end mm -hmm. until tomorrow. Let me try it right now. Let me just throw the music on. Let me try and see if I can just diffuse the situation, and then we'll go home, and I won't call the Crips and Bloods back tomorrow. I have enough footage of them anyway." Now these are some pretty tough kids killers in many ways so he says I'll give you one take let's go for it and I run around screaming get everybody ready and I tell the choreographer no they weren't supposed to dance till tomorrow they're gonna dance now and we get set up the doors go up Michael Peters jumps on the forklift he comes the gangs come at you wrap the hands whatever and Michael Peters and the gang leader, black gang leader, and Vince Patterson, the white gang leader, start dancing. Michael Jackson comes down the boxes, mm -hmm. and they start dancing. And then all of a sudden, the other dancers start flailing their arms and start dancing. And I'm watching the Crips and the Bloods. They're just lined up, supposedly watching this thing going on. Mm -hmm. But the looks on their faces are so fascinating. But I, I run over to my cameraman, I say, get those faces, shoot those faces. Mm -hmm. And he pans their faces because their mouths were open, they're hanging open, watching young African-American, probably gay men, being more macho than they could ever be in their lives. They were watching the beautiful grace and symmetry of the dance, of the choreography that they knew, tough as they were, they could never do that. It was extraordinary. It was extraordinary. That, for me, was really the essence of Beat It, was watching the real dudes give homage to the kids that could dance. Nice story, Great isn't it? Great story. <laughs> True, every bit of it.